top floor. This is great. I'm only taking the stairs. At least I'm not, uh... I'm not going up. It still sucks. I'm not gonna lie. It sucks. You know, I suppose this is better than the alternative. suck a lot more than this actually. I mean, going down the stairs here, definitely giving me the jello legs, but beats being stuck in an elevator. <sighs> it's amazing how going down the stairs will give you jello legs. Doesn't really make him hurt, which is. Just... Well, I guess I know why the elevator wasn't working now. These fire trucks out here must have been. Must have been a fire alarm or something, I don't know. I don't have another bus for like 20 minutes, so I figured I'd just come walk around downtown a little bit. Check out the sights. I've never been up on this bridge here. screwing around. It's time to head down into the down into the bus station. Well, <clears throat> today was a busy busy day in which when I left the office the elevators were non-functioning so I had to take the I had to take the stairs 35 floors down and my legs are still wobbly, but it was still a good day. How do you know it's been a good day? Well, it's when you mess around and get a triple-double. <laughs> well, folks, welcome back to the joint. We're down here in a new spot, a new backdrop, a new thing happening here. I don't even, I don't even know what's going on. You know, uh, one minute I'm just happily working away. The next minute I go to the elevator to, to just take the elevator down 34 flights of stairs and, and go home. And then the elevator doesn't work. So, you know, hey, I don't know what's going on. But anyway, today... I made a special trip, yes, back down to Jerry's, because, because damn it, I can't help myself, but I picked up 
some of this. Now this is a hundred grand, hundred gram tin of Rat Ray's three noggins. <sighs> well, I can tell you right now that I was really, really, really feeling the itch to smoke this all day long because I went down there at lunch and got it, and I found myself just. I opened it as soon as I got back to the office, and I found myself just, just peeling back the lid just to, just to give it a little sniff. Mmm. Mmm. That's very nice. It's a little, a little. I, I didn't read much about this. It's, I think, some Latakia. Some Virginia, mostly Virginia, some uh, Cavendish, a little bit. But uh, here's what it looks like. Whoa, if I could do this without spilling it all over the freaking place. Here's what it looks like. Just so you can get an idea. Now, I did dry this out a little bit because it's in the, in the tin here. It is quite wet. This is, you're not probably gonna have much luck with this just right out of the tin be warned now this is also gonna be completely a non-review because I've never smoked this before this is never had this before you know uh, this is completely new to me so I'm just gonna stuff some of this some of this backy down here in this pipe and, and we're gonna go to town I chose a really small pipe. I'm smoking it in this little this little French guy that I've got here. I know nothing about it other than that it was made in France because it says made in France. All right, let's get just a little bit more here and then we will put the rest back in the back in the container back in the container it goes and I'm gonna actually jar that up I'm not gonna leave it in this container but you know so we're gonna do that right now just stuff this right back in there uh, about like that and cap it off set that aside for a moment get this lit and see what we got going on here it can't it cannot possibly beat rat race red rappery but hands down that's my new favorite but we'll find out soon enough Yeah, that's pretty nice. It does definitely doesn't have that smoothness that I was talking about with the red wrappery. And I understand it's probably not really fair to compare these two tobaccos because they're probably a little different. This is probably more of a Scottish type of blend, but... Yeah, this one's got a little bit of tang to it, a little bit of, I don't know, a little bit of pizzazz, a little bit of, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. It's just the the feeling you get. Well, you can tell that it's got Virginia in it, and I'm getting a little something kind of in the after taste which I'm assuming is the Cavendish and if you can tease that out boy that's that's actually really delicious so far what I've noticed is that it's 
it's like any other Virginia blend. You don't want to you don't want to puff on it too hard because it, I, I'm already feeling that I'm going a little bit strong on this, and I'm feeling a little bit of that Virginia sharpness. You know, the the Virginia tongue bite ish thing going on. <clears throat> I mean, it's not it's not biting me, but I I can tell that if I was to keep going the way that I am right now. Um, probably wouldn't be happy with myself but it's it's better to take this one slow just based on my immediate impression ah what is that that is delicious Maybe like, I don't know, like... Maybe like a little bit of cinnamoniness? I'm wanting to say like rice pudding. How stupid does that sound? I don't know. Again, non-review. Hashtag non-review. Hashtag... I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Hashtag, don't take my word for it. Hashtag, try it for yourself. Yeah, that one was a little too hot. I need to uh, need to slow her down just a little bit here. It's uh, it's it's getting pretty warm, pretty warm on me here. Of course, I did. My nose is running. It's getting away from me. I did dry this out. So it maybe is burning a little bit hotter than it would have otherwise. Just based on that. pretty good that's uh that's really very good um i think actually what i need to do is find out exactly what the crap is in this stuff maybe my ipad maybe maybe i'll just look it up because like for, for real i have no idea what the heck is in here I, I was reading a little bit about it earlier but it says full english mixture on the bottom and then you can see how much I paid for it. Twenty-five fifty. That's up there. That's that's up there. I'm sure you could get this cheaper on the internet. If it was available, I have no idea. I haven't looked, so who knows? Let me go get my iPod and then uh, I'm gonna look up the the stats about this tobacco because you know, in true Justin's joint fashion, I am not prepared at all for this video. Like at all. All right, guys, I'm back here. Got the iPad. And it is saying that this is a Scottish blend, which I guess is probably about right. And it is Black Cavendish, Latakia, Oriental Turkish, and Virginia. So, you know, whatever that means. Let's see what else we can find. All right, well, I wasn't able to find too terribly much more about it other than it's Latakia, Virginia, Cavendish, Oriental. And, uh, you know, I, that seems about right. 
I'm uh, I'm buying that just by smoking it. I don't think they're lying to me about it. I'm actually. I'm kind of waiting for the Latakia to to uh, <laughs> just ashed all over the place. Lovely. Waiting for the Latakia to make its make its debut. I had, I haven't really I haven't really noticed it yet. It's been all Virginia and Cavendish so far. Not a bad thing, but I like Latakia. So you know. The smell in the tin is is pretty nice. It's uh, I don't know. It maybe is a little bit smoky, mixed with a little bit of fruitiness. I mean, it's it's kind of like I don't know. The thing that comes into my my head is like juicy fruit gum or something like that. It's like the mystery fruit. You don't really know what it is, but it smells fruity. It's one of those things that you smell it and your brain says, "Ooh, fruit." But you don't really know what it is. You just know that it's, it smells sweet. It's kind of what I get with the smell. Not necessarily getting as much of the sweetness in the smoke. But it definitely, definitely is semi-sweet. It's not like, you know, overly sweet. Hmm. So I was on the bus tonight on the 16th Street Mall Shuttle. And, uh, you know, when you get on the Mall Shuttle after 8 or after 7.30 p.m., you know, you start to see some pretty interesting characters. And uh, tonight was no, uh, no exception. You know, when I got on, there was a younger couple sitting there pretty much just making out with each other. Not quite, but, you know, as much as they could for being on a public bus. And then, uh... We went about two or three more stops and another group of kids got on the bus we're talking I don't know 18 19 years old maybe maybe 20 maybe and uh, <laughs> they must have known the girl who was you know making out with this dude and so they get on and they're like telling this guy hey watch out for this watch out for this shit chick she's a whole gold digger not just a gold digger, but a whole gold digger. I didn't even know that was a thing, to be a whole gold digger. Not just a, a gold digger, but a whole gold digger. You know? Maybe that's a thing now. Made me chuckle a little bit. I actually thought there was going to be a little bit of a scuffle. Because she got up and was getting all kind of ticked off about it. <laughs> And then, you know, her and her man promptly got off the bus. Well, watch out, bro. She's going to do the dirty, man. She's going to do the dirty, She's going to do the dirty, bro. She's mad because it's the truth. You mad because it's the truth. And I'm happy you're mad. You're mad now. I'm good. 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 I just don't like that shit. She's a whole gold digger. You're making these niggas money when she can go outside and get a fucking job. She's mad. 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 She's mad.
edited it in. If it wasn't usable, you're just going to have to take my word for it. There's some Latakia. Making its presence known. It's about, oh, I don't know. I'd say I'm about halfway down this bowl, maybe just a little bit more. I've been smoking it nice and slow here. Haven't had too much, uh, too much issue with the old Virginia sharpness. Yes, yeah, so the the what I was getting that I was perceiving as like rice pudding or something like that, that's gone. It's not doing that anymore. It's more uh, the, there's definitely a heavier presence of the Latakia right now. Not not like super heavy, but it's definitely there. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, you know, if you're into Virginias and Cavendish and Latakia, you probably like this. I'm not really, I'm sure they put something on it, but, you know, I'm not really picking up that there's a whole lot of anything special going on here except just the tobaccos, but there might may, may be a something. I don't know. I guess the next test is to see how well it goes with coffee. I think I should do that. All right, well, we got some coffee here. Let's see how well it pairs. Yeah. This is a definitely a lighter a light I would classify this as kind of a lighter tobacco. I, I would smoke this in the morning. I'd smoke this over a lunch break. This doesn't seem like the kind of tobacco that's gonna, you know, stink up your clothes. It's definitely um it's definitely pleasant smelling down here in the room. The room note on the, uh, what was it, smoking pipes or something, the, the, it said the room note was tolerable. Excuse me. But pipe smoke is never just tolerable. It's always wonderful. And this one, you know, it's par for the course. It's good. I like it. And yes, it does go good with coffee. And yes, the, the flavor has, the taste of this tobacco has changed as it's gone down the bowl. So, you know, take that for what it is. This is definitely a non-review from a guy who's never smoked it before. This is just basically first, first smoke of a new tobacco. But I will tell you right here and right now that I will be smoking this semi-regularly. This is great stuff. And, uh... You know, a huge thanks to uh, Mr. Cookout Northwest for making the suggestion because, you know, they, they happen to have some, and I was just passed it over because, you know, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. And so it's like, hey, oh, okay, I'm going to try some. I'm going to try some. They have some. I know where I can get it, and I'm going to go get it, and I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. It's great stuff. I think this bowl is just about done. Yeah, this bowl is just about finished. As a matter of fact, 
pretty much all that's left down there is ash. Which, uh, you know, that's another good thing. It's pretty much burned all the way down. I haven't had to struggle. I haven't, you know, I've had minimal relights, mostly just because I've taken, you know, breaks to talk or go get a cup of coffee or, you know, whatever. It's, it's smoking down nice. And I think it's about done. Well, my channel here, little old Justin's Joint, is, I think I've pushed over 70 subscribers now, which is kind of cool. You know, that's more than I would have thought by now. Um, you know, the closer I get to 100, I'm going to have to start thinking about ways to celebrate that. I don't know. Figure something out. I guess we'll... We'll cross that bridge when we get there. But, you know. We're talking Justin's joint. It's got to be something nice. It's got to be something sweet. But I don't know what that means. I don't know what that looks like. I also kind of want to take a take a minute here or at least a second just to uh, say thanks to some of my earlier subscribers and some of my some of my bros who watch on a somewhat regular basis Captain Clench leaves comments on my videos fairly regularly thank you for watching I appreciate it Dan Lopez thank you thank you for watching and commenting Oh yeah, so, I mean there's several. It it's, it just surprises me how uh, a boring guy such as myself can attract uh, some people who maybe are interested in the same things as me, or just like to see this goofy tall guy bumbling around in his basement, you know. Ah, uh, yeah, Virginia Piper. He's he's he's. Kind of a regular here. He comments quite a bit. I'm just kind of scrolling through the comments here through my inbox just to uh, see how many of you guys are, are commenting on my videos. Hi Hat Harry. You've commented a couple times. Thank you, sir. Who else here? Who else here? Let's see. Cortez Cortez commented a couple times thank you thank you so much Lester Skinner thank you thank you so much <laughs> Jimmy Tabaki appreciate the uh, appreciate the appreciate the subscribe I appreciate you guys subscribing and I appreciate you guys watching my stupid videos that you know Whatever, my wife thinks that I'm crazy for doing this. My kids think that I'm cringy because, you know, here I am, you know, close to, you know, over-the-hill guy making YouTube videos. Yeah. That, that's just not supposed to be, uh, I guess, what uh, guys my age are supposed to be doing. But, hey, you know... I think it's fun. I think it's pretty pretty cool hobby. And, you know, it's even cooler when I can get on here and uh, share in it with you guys. So, you know, again, much appreciated. Keep on watching the channel. Hopefully I don't just get too boring and disappointing for you guys because... You know, I, I suppose that could happen. There's only so many. There's only so many marbles rolling around up in this up in this brain here. So you know, we'll see what happens. I got some. I got some decent ideas for some things in the near future. I've discussed some of them in previous videos, and some of them I have not discussed. 
yet. They are coming. My, uh, I think my brother is going to be in town sometime in the near future, possibly. So, you know, get your butt here, buddy. Come on. Special guest time. I got two mics. Let's do this. Well, I think that's about it. This this bowl is pretty much toast. All that's left down in here is ashes. As a matter of fact, as I'm gesturing with my hands, I'm flinging it all over the place. So I probably should go dump this out. And uh, this is actually a, a fairly small pipe. I might actually... I might actually do the same thing twice. Why not? I got a, I got a full cup of coffee here to go with it. So, hey, anything is possible. So until next time, right down here in Justin's Joint, it's been a pleasure having you join me here tonight. And until next time, we will see you guys later.